afternoon everybody so as promised in my previous video which is my which is a which is a cover i did of an ennio morricone uh track um i said i wanted to sort of have a sort of dig dig into his his career and and and, and have a like a, a, a more of a sort of an overview of some of the films he worked on some of the genres he worked in and i've done that in in, <laughs> in a very geeky way um so i've done this through through wikidata so if you're here um, because you're you're interested in Wikidata and using Wikidata, uh, stay tuned because uh, we're going to go through looking at a really simple query and, and and like building that query and looking at some of the visualizations you can do all from within a browser. Very very cool. Um, if you're just interested in Morricone, um, what what the what the the Wikidata uncovers is the full sort of the breadth of his career, the years he's been active, the films he's been worked on, the genres he's worked in, the the different countries the films are from, and just and just looking at that and visualising that. Um, not my usual content for this channel. Uh, if this isn't your cup of tea, you know, I'll I'll see you on the next video. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so if you're to, to get started, if you search for Wikidata, Wikidata, the actual page we need is this is this is this second page here, uh, Wiki Query Service, which is going to open our little query window here we, where we can type our query to get the information we want. Now it's also useful if we have Wikipedia open. So I've already typed in Ennio Morricone there. If we go to his page on Wikipedia, the page that's going to be helpful to us is the Wikidata item here, so it's under Tools. So let's just click this. This is a more geeky version of the Wikipedia page, and essentially it's just, you could say it's all the metadata um, about this entity. And in this case, this entity is Ennio Morricone. Okay, so this is a really basic query which we're going to start off. So welcome to the wonderful world of Sparkle. So Sparkle initially seems totally unfathomable, although it did to me, but once you sort of reason it out and do a few worked examples, it does start to make sense. And I'll find a, a diagram or I'll make a diagram to sort of uh, help explain what's going on here. But essentially you're pattern matching nodes and connections between nodes. So let's not concern ourselves with this. Let's concern ourselves with just this pattern matching. So essentially what we're saying is, I'm interested in films and then we're saying that have an instance of and then if I hit control spacebar I can decode what what this Q11424 means and that's essentially Wikipedia's entry for film so I'm saying give me all entities in Wikidata that are films. Now, if I just run that query, that would give me goodness. And anything that's in Wikipedia that's, that's, that, that's annotated as being a film, would get, you know, it, it give me those results. So that, that, I don't know. That could be that could be millions of lines of data. And what I might happen is is a query. The query would just fall over and go. Oh, that's too much. I can't get it. Um, so what I'm saying of those films. It's a question mark for, of those films. And again, control space bar, as, as, I, as I hover over P86, what does that mean? Okay, so where the composer associated with that film, and then again, control space bar, that works Windows or Mac, I'm on a Mac today. Uh, and there we go, Ennio Morricone. Okay, that's what Q23848 means. So essentially what I'm saying is, find me any films in Wikidata, where the composer is Ennio Morricone. That's all of that, that query means, okay? And then this little bit is just basically saying, don't just give me like a, a sort of code, because all the films it'll return will have one of these Q codes, like Q1234, which doesn't actually mean anything to me. Um, so that's what this, when I'm saying a film label, I'm using this service, wiki based label and if you click on these examples you can basically copy and paste this line of code um, so, so 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 that's the pattern I'm matching and then over here it just says yeah give me that film and or and also give me the film label let's just run that so underneath here so here's these these kind of weird Q things. Does the control space work? No it doesn't in this the links work 
but because I've asked for the label, it's actually telling me what the film is. Wolf, Two Mules, Cesara, Rome, comma, Chicago, Rome, comma, Chicago. <laughs> is that Italian? Is it English? Uh, especially on... So, okay. So these are all the films in Wikidata where Morricone is the composer. Oh, hasn't got that on there. So <laughs> it's a lot. Morricone has written the scores to lots of films. So I'm getting 200, 200, 372 results. He was prolific. And now let's just see if I just, let's just show you what happens if we don't use the label. Let's just run it again. So we just get this. We just get this cue, which is, isn't so useful. Now it's it's hyperlinked out, so we can click on that, and that's going to take us to the wiki data page. And oh, okay, cartoons. Okay, so Morik only worked on cartoons. Um, okay, so that's okay. That appears to be a recent film from nineteen ninety eight. So that's maybe that's maybe a film rather than just a general a general <laughs> entity of cartoons. But okay, that's interesting. So, so as we say, um, much more useful if we just have film label. Okay, and because we've got this line of code, we're going we're going to get the label. Cool. Okay, so how can we um, sort of en enrich that basic query and then really start to sort of uh, you know in in. In enhance the information we're getting off since we've got all the uh, resources of Wikidata at our fingertips if we know what to type. Um, but the really cool thing with this kind of thing is that, that all this data is interlinked. So you can basically jump around all of Wikidata through, 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 through sort of linked concepts, which is really super powerful. Um, but as I say, let's just start enriching this query. So at the moment, we just know that Morricone is the films he wrote. So one thing we can now ask is we can look for the for, look for when these films came out. So we're looking for instances of films where the composer is uh, Morricone, and then we're saying of those films, uh, we've got this concept here is publication date. And then because we, we're interested in, in, in finding out what the publication date is, we can just use just sort of one of these sort of question mark. And then we can we can we can we can call this anything. Um, you know, I've called it pub date, but just, you know, we can call it anything we want. Let's call it P date. Um, and then because we're asking for an additional thing to sort of t for the query to return to us, we need to sort of select that and it's sort of the little query engine it knows that we've got things to ask for so we can oops, so we can just we can just type that in and then down here what i'm saying is um if you're if, if we're getting this information just order my results by by this because it's a date it's kind of you know it's numeric so it'll have a logical order um, I mean, we, I guess we could order it by film label and that would just give us an alphabetical order. But this ordering it by, by the, the date at which it came out seems to make a bit more sense. And I probably need a full stop. So these full stops here um, seem to be fairly important because they say, you know, this is, this is, you know, do this, then do this, and then do this. So do observe those full stops. Um, so let's just run this. Something's gone wrong. I think it's that full stop there. So we obviously don't need it there. So as I say, still learning, still learning. OK, here we go. So now, similar, but now we've got the P date, which we've asked for here, and it's also ordered it. Um, so we got, yeah, January 1959, 61, 62, then going forward. So I'm expecting, because Morricone came out of retirement to do the Hateful Eight, um, at the at the end of this list, okay. So as I say, it goes on page two, page three is the hateful eight. The, hate, the hateful eight. Um, now that's interesting. The hateful eight. The hateful eight. So it's there's a number of different entries for here we go. The hateful eight on Django Unchained. Okay, again here we go, and. There's probably a good reason why this is this this one film is coming up in um, in sort of um, in, in in different 
uh, different lines, and we can we can dig into that. Um, there are ways of asking for distinct results, um, but yeah. So that's cool. Now, because we've got some information, some more information here, we can really start to sort of have a look at some of these visualization options. So if you click on the kind of the eye icon, um, we're looking at them in a basic table format. But we can start to do some really, really cool, clever things. Uh, and because we have a time, because we have a publication date, we can use this timeline at tree. And again, I've got no, this is no sort of additional software here. This has all been sort of rendered within the browser. I can have this really cool timeline showing all the films that Morricone has worked on um, from his oldest to his most recent. So let's just. And obviously, I'm just you know, trying to look at all of these entities, um, which are a lot, on, a, on my little monitor here. So it's all sort of, um, you know, sort of uh, showing it on one page. So, so it's a very kind of long view rather than a, than a wide view. But yeah, but how how flipping cool is that? Well, there's that there's that cartoon thing. Yeah, here we go. The hateful eight, and, and 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 nicely, you know, these in this timeline view, these, you know, we can we can link out and look at these uh, these entities. The hateful eight, filmed by Quentin Tarantino, and we get these nice pins on this nice timeline. Oh, uh, we can also look at this this this. We can sort of look at this graph building tool. Um, this is going to give us something to put on an X and Y axis. So I don't know if this will necessarily make sense, but if we think the X axis, which goes, this is the horizontal axis that goes from left to right. Uh, maybe the, we could put the year in there. Okay, so again, there we see yeah, from 1960 to 2010. And all these little blobs represent all the films that he's done. So it's, it's a kind of similar to the timeline view, right? But why don't we drop the um, the film label onto that y-axis? Bish, bash, bosh. There we go. So now we're having a plot so we can see which films. So it's, so it's ordered these alphabetical um, by the year it was published. And again, because there are so many films here, it's a very kind of... Um, sort of tall plot but again yeah looking at sort of you know film versus year and again using no kind of clever external software doing all of this within the browser uh, and quickly uh, reset and reshape this so maybe it makes more sense to put the year uh, on the y-axis and the film label on the x-axis and this is starting to look a bit more a bit more a bit more useful maybe now, when it comes to nice output, who doesn't like a good map? So let's go back to our query. And I've added this new line here. So let's just review what the query is saying. Show me all films on uh, Wikidata where the composer is Ennio Morricone. Give me the publication date of that film. And then in this new line I've added, here we go, we can just click on this, where the country of origin of the film, and we don't, we, we don't, we don't, we're not looking for a particular country of origin. Um, we're just saying, give me that country. Um, so let me just click that, rerun the query. So it's just cleared our nice little thing. Um, nice little thing a nice little uh, display down there and now so it's given us our country but again we have not asked for the label so mm, not so useful so let's just say yeah it's a country but I need, to, I need to type this but I'm also interested in the label run it again okay here we go we now have this column Italy, Spain, United States, Germany. So again, if we go back to our, we could go back to our graph builder, um, and again we could say, I mean, I don't know. We could look at publication date by country. <laughs> and so, yeah, we can see, yeah, here we go. <laughs> you know, films coming out of Italy, you know. 
um, Morricone worked. So these are these these are, these are the films coming out of Italy that Morricone worked on, and there's films coming out of France, Germany, films coming out of all all kinds of countries, and then particularly the United States. Some coming out of the UK. Um, you know, and we could, uh, you know, what else we could go? Well, I'm not interested in the date. I just want, you know, film by label. So there we go. Uh, and we could do all, all, all kinds of things like that. Now, what I promised is a map. Now, we can't, let's just go back to the table view. Now, what we need to get a map is we need to get the coordinates here. Um, and let me just so I'll just show you how I'd go about getting this coordinate. So, so Italy is a good place to start. So, we've got these kind of this this WDQ sort of code. So, I'm just going to right click this and put it in a new tab, which will take me to the wiki data item for Italy. Okay, so that's cool. Now, if we scroll down, hopefully it's going to give us all kinds of nice information about Italy. Uh, which we could use in any any query, you know, not just about <laughs> composers. Oh, there's the anthem. Um, I'm going to go down, down. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for: a coordinate location, which is going to be sort of like a one. Co yeah, it's going to be one coordinate that basically, you know, um, sort of represents Italy. We've actually got a few coordinates: easternmost point, northernmost point, southernmost point, where's most point. So we've got a few different options there. But I'm just going to. I'm just happy with a coordinate location. Uh, and then, so how would you go about? So it's telling. So if I hover over this, it's telling me it's the property P six two five. I'm all I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy that link. I'm going to go back here, uh, and I'm going to build this. So what I'm doing is okay. So in the in that line line seven, I'm saying I'm asking for the country. I'm now saying it of that country. Okay, I'm just copying in that link. This this is a bit clunky in my in my opinion, um, you know, doing it like this. But um, I mean, we could use that space, you know, that control space trick as well. Um, but what I'm saying is, um, when you return the country, I'm interested in the coordinate location of that of that entity. Um, right, I think that'll work. And then whatever that is. T you know, show me those coords. Do, 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 do. Put it up there because I want to actually see it in my results table. Let's run this. Is this going to work? Right. So we've now got a new label, which is coordinates. And if we again look on our output, I now have the option to build a map. So let's click that. And here we go. So what it's done is it's dropped pins on this map to show me uh, the origin of all the films where Ennio Morricone was the composer. How flipping cool is that? So we can, yeah, there we go, zoom in. Um, now I've not worked out if we can make these pins kind of, uh, we can give you know, these pins a radius based on the number of films coming from that country i know these are things you can do with sort of the google maps api and some of the leaflet libraries but you know we, we started in that that was only get into real coding there and obviously we're doing everything here um just in in the browser you know um so flipping flipping brilliant so we can see there are films that morricone worked on coming out of brazil coming out of mexico coming out of canada coming out of portugal spain morocco um just really nice and you know can't emphasize this much this too much you know we're just doing all this within the browser um you know and we can do we can do screen grabs i've not had good luck you know there's, there's various sort of download options here including an image but, you know we could just go ahead and do a screen grab of this right and throw it into a presentation bish bash bosh easy peasy Okay, last um, query. Um, so we know Ennio Morricone he was famous for his spaghetti westerns. Um, but I was, you know, when I was writing these queries, I was interested in the, um, the various genres that he worked in. So I've added this new line here. 
um, as I say, so of these films that you're getting that, are, that where the composer Ennio Morricone, give me the publication, then give me the country. I'm also asking for the for the genre. So here we go. So there's there's a Wikidata um, you know entity type for genre, um, and because I'm not looking for a specific one, I'm just saying show me all those genres and then up here so I've added it to my list of things that I want to see essentially I've also added the label so it'll give me a clear label and then I've added this um obviously as we as we saw um with Morricone's you know page you know um there are images associated with 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 records but what what I find is in the Wikidata compared to Wikipedia sometimes the image is missing um so I've got this kind of optional clause here. So I'm basically saying, if the film has an image associated with it, give me that image. But you know, if 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 it's not there, you know, just just you know, return the record anyway, even if there's no image. So that's what's going on with that line there. So that are ordering here. So let's just run this query. It's getting the looking at the genre. So there we go, genre, genre and genre label, drama, comedy film, comedy film, genre, romantic comedy, western, spaghetti western. Awesome. And then here, I think this is where there's something like the uh, graph builder comes in. I think this is one of the views I was looking at initially. Oh. Um, so I am interested in, I mean, I don't know, you know, um, looking at the date versus not not looking versus Jara. Boom. Yeah, so we so we can clearly see yeah uh, he, he Morricone mostly worked on dramas throughout his, his career. He worked on a lot of comedy films, uh some action films. Um I wanna scroll I wanna scroll Oh here we go yeah here we go. Can I scroll yeah Oh, it's down here. Um, but yeah, bunch of jars. Um, where are the Western spaghetti western spaghetti western spaghetti western? So we can see here spaghetti westerns are real clustered in into the early part of his career. Um, thrillers, you know, sort of uh, scattered throughout his career. Uh, is western its own sort of? Jara, or is it just spaghetti western? Do, 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 do. Now, some films will belong to multiple genres, so we're not necessarily getting. So these aren't necessarily, you know, uh, a run of his unique films. So one film could have two, three, four genres, you know, because they're quite, you know. Oh, okay, Western film. So it's 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 not put these alphabetical for some reason. Uh, okay, don't understand that. But okay, whatever. So as I say, so like um, a a Western film, it could be a Western film and an action film and an adventure film. Just 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 so you're aware. But yeah, so you know you can have all sorts of fun. Um, you know we can we can flip that around. We can put. Maybe it makes more sense to look at film versus genre. I don't know if that makes more sense. Again, it gives us a very tall um, uh, plot. Last part of uh, the video. Um, we can't talk about linked data uh, without looking at a graph. Uh, or a network. So I've just um, made this query a little simpler, but it gives me uh, an opportunity just to sh show commenting out. So where I've put this hash symbol, that means basically ignore what's coming after that. So I've just hashed out the publication date, the country and the coordinates. So essentially now all we're looking at is basically films and their genres by Mo by Morricone, um, which, I've, which, I've, which I have run. Okay, so we're getting the film, the film label, the genre, the genre. So we're just looking at films and genres. Uh, now, if we go on our output at the very bottom, I mean, there's a few options that you, that you can play with, and some some of these visualizations will make sense for the kind of query you're running, and some sort of won't make sense. And obviously, maps now not available because I've commented out coordinates. Um, but yeah, but at the very bottom graph, um, and this is pretty awesome. Look at this bad boy. 
So essentially, here I'm just looking at uh, all the th all the all the genres uh, with their connections to, to to the films that belong to those genres, and essentially what this what what the wiki data seems to be doing is just sort of dynamically arranging this graph <laughs> in front of my eyes um, to sort of, to optimize the display of it. Very very cool, you know, and we could use this. Well, yeah, any you know, one could use this this kind of graph view to to look at any any kind of query, you know, um, you know, presidents of the United States, um, films from Quentin Tarantino. Um, if there's a query you're interested in, um, drop it in the comments. Um, I'll have a go at uh, putting something together. Um, so you can see, you know, there's this, there's this sort of big, 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 sort of big node that loads of sort of, uh, sort of loads of edges are sort of, sort of attaching to, um, sort of, sort of showing us the, 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 the drama, um, uh, genre, and then a sort of all the various films. Oh, an erotic thriller, <laughs> oh, cinema paradiso. I didn't know he did. He worked on that. It's interesting. Yeah, there's a few dollars for a few dollars more. So I'm starting to sort of, you know, see nodes that are sort of jumping out at me. Um, of, of, uh, is that the Untouchables there I'm seeing? Yeah, the sort of films that I know that Morricone has worked on. Now, the really cool thing with this particular sort of graph view and the fact of the whole thing about the linked data is if I click, so let's click on the Untouchables. If I click on this node because it's, there's quite a lot of data here, it might take, what it's then going to do is then going, okay, you're interested in the touchables. It's then going to go and sort of link out to all the metadata on the Wikidata page for the untouchables and then show me all the information about the untouchables. So I can see United States of America as a country of origin. Yeah, there's Ennio Morricone as the, as the composer. Um, I mean, it's, it's a pretty busy plot, obviously. Um, I can zoom in with my mouse button. Um, and I can see Brian De Palma there. I think he was he the, was he the director. And these these little lines will actually tell me, you know, what what the concept is uh, from Paramount Pictures. So that's going to be something like, you know, the the studio. Um, Chicago might be filming location. It's a little bit hard to see because, as I say, it's oh yeah, yeah filming filming location. And there's yeah so so, so 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 what's nice about this is you can basically you know you can visually walk the graph of all this linked data within Wikidata, very very cool. I mean it's it's a real kind of uh, you know rabbit hole to to go down. Um, and obviously Wikidata gives you all these nice really really nice visualization tools to be able to visualize the the, the kind of things that that, that you're looking at. Once upon a time in the West, here's just caught my eye. Obviously, this is the uh, sort of the uh, little cover that I did and in the previous video. Horror films. So Morricone obviously worked on a few horror films. Oh, The Exorcist too. Interesting. I didn't know Morricone worked on The Exorcist too. This is the kind of cool thing that this rabbit hole can sort of reveal to you. This kind of you know the sort of um, you know in this case I'm looking at films that Morricone worked on, uh, and it's sort of revealing things. I you know. That I you know, really wasn't aware of. Um, that's sort of really cool about this. And obviously, doing all this within the browser, no Python libraries, no R, you know, nothing like this. Uh, everything's done in the browser. Uh, I think I'm, what am I doing this in Firefox? Um, I think this works in Chrome, uh, Brave, you know, you name it. So there we go. I'll wrap. I'll wrap this um, little Wikidata uh, video up here. Wow! If you made it to the end, congratulations. So this is it's basically turned out as a as a kind of mini uh, Wikidata tutorial. Um, so if you've come here, if you found this video because you're interested in Wikidata, um, I, I hope that's useful. Obviously, it's not my <laughs> typical content on this channel. I'm usually messing around with synthesizers or messing around with guitars. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions about Wikidata, throw them in the comments. I'm still learning. You know, I'm still learning. Um, and I'll say if, if, if there's a particular query that you're interested in, in, in looking at, 
because uh, you, you want a visualization for a project or a video again you know th throw it in the comments and we'll try and you know maybe try and throw together a little, a little query um, if you are a wikidata expert and there's anything you know that are like oh we should do this or don't do this you know again let me know in the comments as I say I'm, so, I'm still learning this this stuff you know so this I mean, you know this, this really is, is part of the two videos is sort of this tribute to Ennio Morricone that sort of passed away you know earlier this week so I was just keen to really sort of dig in and and, and look at uh, you know have a sort of like an overview of, of his career and you know and sort of wiki data is, is a good way of doing that it's a really geeky way of doing that um, but yeah it, it, it's also you know it, it, it's fascinating to reveal um, the, the breadth of work that he put out his his timeline the number of films that he worked on number of different genres he worked in number of uh, films from different countries he worked in really interesting really fascinating anyway all right <laughs> here's folks <laughs>